Lucy from Kula Yoga is going to help us demonstrate some different variations of our tree pose. It's one of our main balancing poses, you'll do it in a lot of classes, and it's a pose that a lot of us struggle with, and so let's go through the foundations. Bring all of the weight into your left foot, and from the hip, turn out the right foot. You can keep the toes down on the ground in a kickstand and have the heel resting against the ankle. That's step one for your tree pose. If you're feeling unsteady or if you're a beginner to the practice, this is a great place to stay. If you want to make the pose a little bit more challenging, we'll take the sole of the right foot and bring it to the inner left shin. And really pressing the foot into the shin and the shin into the foot. If you feel stable here and you want to notch up the intensity, Take the sole of the foot and bring it to the inner thigh. Notice we never place the sole of the foot against the knee joint. It's a very movable joint, and we don't want to place any pressure on the knee. This is also a wonderful place to stay, pushing sole of the foot into the thigh, and thigh into foot as you open up the right hip. Now, if your hips are feeling open and you want to take this further, you can try half lotus by bringing the ankle up to the hip crease, and then letting the right knee come down straight towards the earth bringing hands to heart center. Now if this ever starts to feel uncomfortable on the knee, then feel free to come down to a less intense pose. Once you find your balance in tree, a drishti or a focus point will help you find stability. You can raise your arms towards the sky. We call this growing the branches of our tree. Notice the different parts of your body that have to kick in to find stability when you do these gentle movements. Maybe finding a mudra with the fingers by joining the pointer finger and the thumb, directing the energy that you're sending out all the way back into the body. For an extra challenge, try closing down the eyes. Notice how that changes your stability. Those little rocks are good. Then we'll gently bring the hands into heart center and untangle the legs. Give yourself a little shake before you move on to the other side. 